Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Skyrim, where we have avenged Codlack's death, but oh, I've got a funeral to attend. I'm guessing this is another note about Ben or's death, but um, actually, I've got like a different guy to bring, oh, actually, I wonder, I should have tried that, I wonder if you can dead throw Codlack white, mate, that would have been hilarious, actually, I wonder if I can do it during the funeral, ooh, Oh, this is going to be the best or worst funeral ever, I don't know. It also shouldn't kill Benor, because with twin souls, I am allowed a second actual thing, aren't I? Yes. Oh, I think everyone's going up to the Skyforge to go and pay their respects. Marvellous. I can bring him back from the dead in front of everyone, and it will be marvellous. Apart from this guy. This guy doesn't want to go, because this guy's a dick. Oh, hang on. I suspect... That Codlack's funeral has to happen in original actual uh, White Run, not new White Run. So I might need to travel through this rock into alternative White Run. Otherwise, oh no, it's happening. Is it happening? I'll do it. Before the ancient flame, we grieve. Ben, oh, you're ruining the funeral. Shh. We weep. We, we. For the fallen, we shout. We shout. Darn, I'm not sure I'm allowed to. Mainly because there's an invisible wall all around him, so I can't actually get up to him. Hang on, if I could get round here, up to the top. If I could just get onto the pyre, I feel like I might be able to. Okay, this is as close as I can get. Uh, rather unfortunate kind of up underwear skirt shot here, but... Come on. <gasps> Damn it! Boo! Boo! The game realised I was going to try that! No! Boo! He actually resists dead thrall. No, I know you asked me to do that years ago. I haven't bothered. Um, am I holding up the funeral, by the way? I feel like I might be, because everyone was, like, saying nice things, but now they've stopped. Officially, I'm just supposed to be attending the funeral. Now, I think either I've broken the funeral... By bringing this guy, you know, or attempting to bring him back from the dead. Or, actually, am I allowed to... I am just allowed to craft your... <laughs> I'm not good at funerals. Alright, sometimes I act inappropriately. Uh, though, actually, I do think I can actually produce some jewellery right now. Yeah. Anybody want a memorial jeweled necklace? Because that would just be... Ooh, silver sapphire necklace. It's good stuff. Anyone? No? Alright then. I love how I can keep using the forge, even during his funeral. Excellent. Um, right. Now, I need to figure out how to fix the... Okay, if I just wait for an hour, any chance anyone wants to... Okay, I'm gonna try going to the other white run to see if I can solve the situation like that. Right, so now I'm in not open cities white run. And, okay, now the body's gone, but none of the funeral people are here. Ah, Ayla's just shown up. We're back in the Open Cities version, by the way, but yeah, Ayla now showed up and everything's fine. Well, I say everything's fine. It's kind of ground to a halt again. I think possibly the problem was, yeah, the rest of the circle wasn't actually present. But now they've shown up. Do you have the fragments of Ruthrad still? Ah, there we go. Yorland Greymane finally showed up. I think everyone was possibly in the wrong white run and had to run down to the transition rock in order to get to the right one, which is why the funeral was so slow. And I returned them with honour. Have fun reforging them or whatever. Don't get too flowery on me, yes. Of course, I have a small favour to ask of you. Everyone always yes, does. There's another piece that Kodlak always kept close to himself. Would you go to his chambers and bring it back for me? I'm not sure I'm the best one to go through his things. Okay, fair enough. I will go and do that. So, one more fragment in Codlack's chambers. Now, why does that feel... Yeah, the fact the game's sending me on a fetch quest right now. That feels like there's a twist in the brewing. Dear Diary, what a day. Pretending to be Codlack White Maid really takes it out of me. Dear oh flipping dear, sooner or later they shall realise that I was the vampire lord Alhazared all along. But soon, soon I and the dragonborn shall become friends or whatever. Let's just quickly... Oh, that's still stealing. I feel like it's not stealing, he's dead. Also, apparently he had one of the bloody stones of I'm collecting them even though I don't mean to. 
just chilling out in his area. Marvellous. Also, weirdly, yeah, the frame rate just kind of tanks whenever I'm actually looking at the main companion horse. It's weird. It's like perfectly lovely and high everywhere else. But if I'm ever like in this area, it gets really, really low. Right, end table. There's the fragment and aha, one diary. So a dream in which everyone who led the companions ascends to Sovereign Guard until they became werewolves, at which point they're not allowed to anymore. Got it. It appears I have a choice, and then at my side, a stranger I had not seen before. I look into her eyes. We turn to see the same wolf who dragged away Turfig. She and I draw weapons together. I realise this is only a dream, but a strong enough dream to inspire a man like me to take to writing. It must be of some import. And I'm guessing, of course, that's me then. This is interesting. Skure and Ayla are strong in the ways of the beast, and even seem to suggest that hunting grounds would be their choice of afterlife, if it truly were a choice. Vilkas seemed most troubled. Okay, and Farkas didn't know what to think. I believe he will come around with me and his brother eventually. Right, so potentially, yeah, more people want to be turned back, but not Ayla by the sounds of it. Sounds like she was cool being a werewolf. Oh, we've actually got a reason right now why Farkas and Vilkas haven't really been transforming very much. Vilkas was telling me how difficult it's been for him to give up his transformation until we can pursue a true cure. The twins and I have chosen not to give in to the beast blood. Apart from that one time when Farkas did, which he did right in front of me, but never mind. And confirmation as well that I was the person from his dream. Gotcha. Oh, John continues to impress. I like that. The game actually names me. Very rarely you actually see John written down in the game. But yes, there we are. In his diary, John continues to impress. Aw, thanks, Codlack. And there we go. There we go. We've not had cause to speak much. That's something I deeply regret. I have high hopes for her destiny as I realised her appearance in my dream may intend to mark her as the harbinger to succeed to me. Yep. New guildmaster. Spot on, lovely. Right, well, as this book basically as good as names me a successor, I'll be taking that for future reference. Right, back over to Yorland Greymane, and I've got the thing for you. Thank you. Your shield siblings have withdrawn to the Underforge. I think they're waiting for you. Okay, so he's going to get on with reforging the weapon. I, meanwhile, have to have a chat with the Circle about what is next. And by any chance, is that a new book? No, it is not. I have read it before. Never mind then. Right. And there's... Oh, he's slightly uneven now. Actually, that's true. I may not be able to bring him back. However, he clearly does react to the physical world in some capacity. Because when I tried to do the spell, he kind of bounced back a bit. I'm really sorry. This is probably very disrespectful. Bruce, run down. Ooh, no. Interesting. He can definitely shuffle around, but there's some form of barrier at the edge of his actual little funeral pyre that's not only keeping me out, it's keeping him in. So, yes, it would rather appear that I cannot get him off his own funeral pyre, tragically. Right, in which case, down to the Underforge, let's see what the others want to say. Didn't get it. It's as simple as that. Being moonborn is not so much of a curse as you might think, Vilkas. That's fine for you. But he wanted to be clean. He wanted to meet Iskramor and know the glories of Sovngarde. But all that was taken from him. And you avenged him. Godlack did not care for vengeance. No, Farkas, he didn't. And that's not what this is about should be honoring Kodlak, no matter our own thoughts on the blood. You're right. It's what he wanted, and he deserved to have it. Kodlak used to speak of a way to cleanse his soul, even in death. You know the legends of the tomb of Iskramor. There the souls of the Harbingers will heed the call of Northern Steel. We can't even enter the tomb without Wuthrad, and it's in pieces like it has been for a thousand years. And dragons were just stories, and the elves once ruled Skyrim. Just because something is, doesn't mean it must be. The blade is a weapon, a tool. Tools are meant to be broken, and repaired. Is that... Did you repair the blade? 
This is the first time I've had all the pieces, thanks to our shield sister here. The flames of Kiro can reforge the Shattered. The flames of Kodlak shall fuel the rebirth of Uthrad, and now it will take you to meet him once more. As the one who bore the fragments, I think you should be the one to carry Uthrad into battle. The rest of you, prepare to journey to the tomb of Ysgrimor, for Kodlak. Alright, so, we've got ourselves a Wurthrad. And apparently, everyone else is heading to the tomb of Ysgrimor, which I would join them on, but you know, I can probably fast travel to something a lot closer. Though, before we do that, let's have a little look at this thing, because as I understand, it's actually, uh, yeah, pretty darn powerful. Now, Wurthrad, uh, damage 27 base, when I haven't invested at all, that's gotta be... That's gotta be good. That has got to be right up there with, like, Ebony or Daedric or something. That's really damn high. Now, big question for whether it might be something worth handing over to Ben or whoever else. One, what does it take to be improved? And the answer is, yeah, as I would have expected, Ebony. Which is not great, because that means all I can do is get up to... Actually, if I'm wearing all the right gear, I can probably get it up a little bit higher. I can probably get up to Legend... No, I could probably get up to Epic, and I'd need a potion to hit Legendary. But I get it to Epic at least, so one Ebony Ingot that I've already got, that's fine. And one other thing, actually... Ooh, okay, rather than running all the way up to Dragon's Reach, I'll just check this. So as it turns out, yes, I can actually enchant the thing. Uh, just because it's got its unique enchantment 20% bonus damage to any form of Elf, so that'll include, like, Orcs and presumably Falmer... As well as just kind of the traditional High Elves and Dark Elves. Yeah, actually. That'll work pretty darn nicely. Because then it's got the bonus damage. And I can put two additional enchantments on it. And it's already pretty damn powerful. I can get it up to... Yeah. That there could be a damn nice little weapon, potentially. Now, East Grimoire's Tomb is... Ah! I've literally already been to East Grimoire's Tomb. <laughs> I just stumbled across it. Marvellous. Right, here we go, up in the snowy wastes up north, blimey heck. Right, here we go, and yeah, I think I remember this room, because unless you, like, put the axe somewhere or something, you can't go any further. Oh yeah, I definitely came in here before. This is the resting place of Iskramor, and its most trusted generals. You should be cautious. Ah, right. I'm guessing some of them are going to be wandering around as really, really bloody tough monstrosities then. The original companions. Their finest warriors rest with Ysgramor. You'll have to prove yourselves to them. It's not that you're intruding. I'd wager they've actually expected us. They just want to be sure that you're worthy. Be ready for an honorable battle. Is it less honourable if I'm relying on my undead zombie husband and Moira from Hell to do some of the fighting for me? And I'm guessing you lot aren't coming? Kodlak was right. I let vengeance rule my heart. I regret nothing of what we did at Driftshade. But I can't go any further with my mind fogged or my heart grieved. Fine. So no help here. And we've already had this discussion. We've already had this discussion. Go away. Leave me alone. Right, Vilkas keeps running up to me to begin this discussion again. So I'm guessing he wants me to ask him the final dialogue option here. How do we get inside? By any chance, do I need to put the axe onto the statue of the guy who's blatantly obviously trying to hold an axe? Return Wuthrad to Ysgrimor. It should open the way. What a surprise! And interestingly, there's three different Skyrim doors around here. Okay, well, let's start this off here. Give him the axe. And it's lucky I haven't improved it or anything, because sometimes when you get an axe for a quest, then you, like, hand it over and then you get it back at the end. And I'm guessing I am going to get this back at the end. Then it gets better. Like, um, the orc quest. I was given a big axe for that, and then, like, at the end of the quest, when it was returned to me by the Daedric Prince or whatever, it was even more powerful. So I'm guessing that axe might actually improve even further yet. So, thing returned... And only one of the doors is open. Got it. So you guys stay here. Oh, hang on. Unless Ayla? Are you coming? Oh, right. Sorry. It's only Vilkus that doesn't want to come. The other two of you are coming. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to have a massive series of companions with me. That's marvellously good news. 
And I'm guessing, therefore, this is going to be one of those dungeons where it says, your companion must wait outside. So the fact I haven't actually got, like, anyone with me doesn't matter. I wonder where Iona went, by the way. Never found her. Not sure where she's got herself to. Oh, my first great challenge. Can I defeat rats? Yes, turns out I can. And even though I am the great general who was, you know, the wielder of Worthrad, now that guy's just running ahead to take care of it all for me. Right, ghosts. Turns out it's ghosts. Oh, really cocking flimsy ghosts. Good luck with this. Oh, they're a bit hard to see sometimes, mind. Right, as I've just beaten your ghosts, therefore I have the right to rob your burial urns. That seems right and fair and proper to me. Right, keep it cracking open and ooh. This is cool. This is very... Yeah, okay. Go. Send someone forward to start tanking immediately. And everyone else in. Yep. Yeah. Ada's providing support from her crappy little plutty hunting bow. Right. I'll go take out their archer. Not very good, to be honest. And go and... Oh, yeah. Really not very good. Uh, and then we go over here. Okay, these guys are actually surprisingly flimsy. I thought these were supposed to be, like, the best of the best, like, of all time. The greatest companions ever. They're kind of terrible. Like, the Silver Hand were much, much stronger than this. This is why they were doing better in the war till I showed up. And further and further and further down. Any more ghosts? There's some more ghosts and... Oh, sorry. I thought I had my shield up, but I don't. Uh, so I've probably just despawned Ben or there. Uh, yes, yes I have. Because now there's two Moiras and... Okay, I'll bring Ben or back in a second. <laughs> Two Moiras is arguably a little bit more on the powerful side regardless. Also, like, back in the day before they were werewolves, were the companions like a guild of archers or something? Because they all seem to like using bows. And not actually be very good in a hand-to-hand -hand fight. Alright, lads. Keep it moving. Keep it flipping moving. Sorry, is everyone just, like, refusing to move on if I'm not? Oh, I see. None of you know how to cut down webs. <laughs> Bloody geniuses, the lot of you. Right. Cut it down, cut it all down. Oh, it's just spiders in here. Oh, well, that's that's not that threatening, to be honest. I think we can handle little spiders, actually. Yes. And more spiders. Tomb of East Grimoire possibly been left alone a bit too long here. Could have done with just some basic house cleaning and screw the lot of you. Right, keep on pushing on. And, ah, this feels more like traditional... No, it is still ghosts. It is still ghosts. It's just... Where are the ghosts? There's... Oh, sorry. My mistake. Do you want to attack me, by the way? Do you want to go for an attack? Anytime you want. Come on. Can I shield bash you? Yeah, you can shield bash ghosts. Which feels weird, doesn't it? That just feels really weird. The endless sleep comes for us all. Uh, yeah, it does if you are as terrible at fighting as you lads are. Oh, this feels like the sort of important place we'd want to come to. Yeah. This feels pretty important here. Massive great statue thing. Big handle. Crack open... Something. What did that just... What did that just do? What What did the handle do? Did it just open up a... Was that not open before? I'm not sure whether that was even open before. Right, well let's just crack on. Because this seems to be... Oh! Right. I think Moira's run out by this point. So how about we just get a new Moira? There we go. Yeah, you totally really like getting out the old bows, don't you? Right, well, let's just finish off a few of these guys. Oh, they're pretty flimsy. Right, they're numerous but flimsy. Right, you are facing away from me right now. So we can finish off you as well. So the first few go down nice and quick and dead and dead. Right, uh, Moira's already a bit on the weak side. Ayla's hanging out at the back. I don't know where Farkas has got himself to. <laughs> Possibly he had a great big, you go on ahead, I'll only slow you down, I will sacrifice myself for you moment. But if he did, um, I was like scouting ahead or looting at the time, so I missed it. So I'm not sure where he's gone. <laughs> Actually, he fell behind last time as well. Bloody useless, that guy. And this presumably through here is going to be whatever the final challenge is. Because it feels like, yeah, this is a big room. Big room and we're almost there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What do we need to do first? Ooh! No, Codlac's here. Hello, Codlac. Right, you live here. I will speak to him in just a second. First, there's a chest up here. Always keep your eyes on the loot, damn it. Admittedly, not great loot. Ooh! Okay. That's kind of fun. 
Though admittedly, not so much for me, because yeah, magic resistance is not something I need. I'm probably at a cap. If there is a cap, I'm almost certainly at it already. And health up by 20 is not great. It's pretty heavy, and it's also heavy arm, which I don't like so much. So, hmm. Maybe I'll take it, just so I can, like, you know, put it on my wall or whatever. But it's not really for me to use. Also, apparently, I could just leave at this point. I could say, you know what? Screw it. I've got the shield of Eskrimor. That was actually what I did all this for. Screw Codlac, eh? Right, hello, Codlac. Greetings, shield sister. Codlac, is that you? Yes, yes, it is. He's literally labelled as Codlac. Keep up, John. Of course. My fellow Harbingers and I have been warming ourselves here, trying to evade Husey. But there's nobody else here, I say, tempting fate. Because any moment I'm guessing there's some great big wolf running in that I'm going to need to defeat then. You see only me because your heart knows only me as the companion's leader. I'd wager old Vignar could see half a dozen of my predecessors. And I see them all. The ones in Sovengard. The ones trapped with me in Hearsay's realm. And they all see you. You brought honor to the name of the companions. We won't soon forget it. Okay, um, downside, I think I've only got five heads, so I need you to pick, um, three. Three of your favourites who you want to get into Sovereign Guard with you, because I need one for me. You get one, obviously, because I like you, because you actually wrote my name down in your diary, which was very sweet. Sorry, I read your diary, by the way. Um, so pick your three favourites, and you can just naff off to Sovereign Guard together, and it will be lovely. And also, how exactly do I cure you? Did he now? I can only hope. You still have the witch's heads. Excellent. Throw one of them into the fire. It will release their magic. For me, at least. Okay. Put witch head in fire. Uh... Huh? Never should have come here. And... Ooh! I've literally separated him from the, the wolf. So I'm guessing we now have to just beat up. Are we just beating up the wolf? Yep, I'm guessing we're beating up the wolf. Is Codlac going to help me with this, by the way? Is he? I don't know. Actually, the wolf seems to be going down pretty quick. Yeah, that was basically just me bullying a puppy. Have I just freed you from the wolf, by the way? Because that was quite easy. Greetings, shield sister. Uh, by the way, you're, like, free to go to heaven. I would have thought we'd want to start with that, but okay. And so slain the beast inside of me. I thank you for this gift. The other Harbingers remain trapped by Hearsay. Perhaps from Southern Guard, the heroes of old can join me in their rescue. The harrowing of the hunting grounds. It would be a battle of such triumph. And perhaps someday, you'll join us in that battle. But for today, return to your vessel. Triumph in your victory. And lead the companions to further glory. Actually, I've got, like, other heads. I could free several of the other guys, and he's still there. And now he's not. Did I hear right? Did he say you were to lead the companions? Yeah, I just kind of lead everything. Just deal with it, to be honest. You've earned the right. Your strength and honor are apparent to all. And it's my honor to be first to address you as Harbinger. Let's go tell the others. Yeah, just wait a second. Um, I think I can actually, presumably, and hopefully... I mean, this is the point where you cure it. Can I just cure this now? Uh, cast a witch's head into... Yep! Boom! Cure lycanthropy forever! Why is my wolf blue when his... Oh, it's John's wolf spirit! I'm so sorry, ghost wolf! You're a very adorable puppy, and, you know, in the real world, I'd just give you a big hug. But apparently, you just need to be killed. And I'm not a werewolf anymore. Good! I didn't particularly enjoy it, to be honest. It didn't strike me as particularly powerful. Like, maybe if you do it when you're really, really low level. And, like, you probably can get to a pretty low level because they're based in White Run and all of that. So, you're just sitting there. Is there any particular reason you're just sitting there? You're someone who can get things done. I like that. By the way, I cured Cod like, I mean, I would have thought you knew that already because you overheard the previous conversation. But, did you know that? And that's exactly what the old man wanted. I'm glad we could give it to him. Okay, and also, I'm the leader. I'll be honest, I wouldn't have expected it. You literally just said you earned the right a second ago. So, are you planning to just sit there now? Or are you actually, you know, going back home? Eventually. But this, this is the tomb of Iskramor. I think I'm just going to commune for a bit. 
This place is worthy of some time. You go on ahead. I'll see you back there. Okay, so Ada just wants to chill out here. And just in theory, if I wanted to... Actually, I don't want to. I'm not even going to ask in case she just does it immediately. Right, so... Apparently, well, actually, the thing did say, cure it forever. So, actually, in all fairness, like, I also kind of cured vampirism forever. Then I just went and got myself reinfected, so... Who knows? They also, what's this thing up here? Ooh. This is presumably the Tomb of Eastgrimoire within the Tomb of Eastgrimoire. So I'm guessing there's actually, like, you know, Eastgrimoire's body in there. Fine. Well, that's all done. That's fun and complete, then. Uh, so in which case, time to head back to Yoravaska. Just to see if maybe there's, like, you know, any benefits or perks or unique armor or weaponry that comes from actually being the head of the companions or whatever. So that staircase brings me here, where I can just help myself to some money. And also Imperial gear that's... Wait, hang on. How is modern day Imperial gear inside the Tomb of Eastgrimmel? That doesn't make any bloody sense. Uh, so that gets me out to... Ah. Well, this is interesting. That just made that one at the far end open as well. And while no one's watching, can I actually have the axe? I can, and it doesn't actually close the door either. Marvellous. Ah, but now it's not a quest item, so now it weighs quite a lot. Ah, I've also got the bloody heads. They're not quest items anymore either. And they weigh bloody four each as well. Marvellous. Now the side exit that just opened up via me pulling that pull chain has led me out over here. And there's some steps leading up. Now, is this going up towards the top of the island I couldn't get to before? Possibly so. Okay. Where are you taking me? Because this only opened up... Aha! Free word of power. Nice. Okay! Been a while since we've had one of these. Uh, let's see if it's actually anything worth bothering to learn. And... Oh! I think I've actually finished off Animal Allegiance there. Uh, yeah, I actually stumbled across the second word of that not long ago. So that, I believe, is the uh, the complete set. So there we are, Animal Allegiance, which is somehow appropriate and also kind of offensive to have at the end of the werewolf quest, I suppose. But as I've actually just got 11 souls and nothing to do with them, sure, let's actually get that sorted out there. So a shout for help from the beast of the world who come to fight in your defense. Lovely. Almost certainly more useful at lower levels, it must be said. At this point, I can just basically smash any animal of the wild to death. Though, actually, I suppose mammoths are still pretty good. If I could actually just kind of find you know, a whole bunch of mammoths with some giants, I could probably just basically command the mammoths to kill the giants, and that'd be cool. Although, while I'm actually up here in the north, I have just had a thought, which is... Yeah, over there is one of the lighthouses that I just saw previously. But that was looking down onto... Yeah, there was, there was an island with a big barrow on it, which would logically be probably this island. No, hang on, not that island. This island, though, admittedly. This island is just there, which is quite frankly suspicious. Um, This place. And Hella's Folly is right next to... Hmm. Okay, hang on. I just want to very quickly check what this place is. Because, yeah, it looks like it's a fairly easy ascent from this side, kind of approaching from the north. So, go on then. Let's see what's up here if we can. This seems eminently climbable. If you just do the old Skyrim hammering jump. Actually, okay, that doesn't feel like the way the game wants me to go at all. No, because uh, there's no follow-up path. There must be a path around here somewhere. Hang on. Looks to me like it's a bit more shallow over here. I'll see if there's a loop around on this side of the island. Yeah, this looks much better. Right up here, fine. I uh, should be able to just clamber up here. And there's also... Ben will just beat me up here. That's embarrassing. Yeah, there we go. There's a nice path. Just follow the nice path. So... Ingvild. Ingvild, Ingvild. Also, there's a cave. That's Ingvild right there. Hang on, if that's Ingvild right there, what's all this for? Because that doesn't feel right. Like, surely the entry point is like... Up here, next to, like, all of the big things that are clearly designed to draw a bit of attention, but... Hmm, okay. The fact that it doesn't have a proper entrance actually just intrigues me even more. Why is it just a crappy little cave? That's odd. And also, yeah, that little island that was close by to this island, is that actually going to have anything on it? 
Hmm, is that the island I thought it was? No, that's this island here. What's... What's this island, then? Because this island's got to be... It's just a big iceberg, isn't it? Is there going to be anything there? I don't think there's going to be anything there. That just looks like it's a big iceberg to me. I don't see any sign of, yeah, path to climb or lights or structures on it. Fine. Ingvild, oh, Vald, sorry, I've already forgotten. Wherever it was I just discovered, just want to very quickly nose inside, because I did see it last time, and I did think I wouldn't mind going to check it out, whatever it is exactly. Right, just a quick check what we're looking at here. And the answer is... No, oh, hang on. Some stuff. There's something down here, but... What is that? I don't see. It looks like it's working. Whatever it is. Like, that doesn't look like... The undead. Not to me, anyway. Or is it? No, it is the undead. I'm completely 100% wrong. Uh, fine, Moira. Uh, head up there. And just help sorting that out, please. Because generally you're pretty good at that. We're dealing with death lords, are we? Uh, death lords are not so bad. Yeah, we should be able to chop these guys down pretty bloody quick. And if I can get one of them on my own, that might be an excellent thing for me to practice my blocking with. Oh, you're just a restless. Oh, I'm very sorry. That was flipping overkill. Oh, this is interesting. Bit of a branching path going on here. One route going round. Oh, hello. Hello. Ingvald's ghost, who went hostile by default, and also, no, no, go, go for her, go for her, go for her, go for her, make sure she goes down before, okay, who summoned the thing, who actually is responsible for summoning this, is it the scourge, uh, if you're trying to use magic, by the way, it's a terrible idea on me, oh yeah, it was him, fine, scourge used magic, uh, okay, Ingvald ghosts, we got ghosts, and I swear I saw these guys looking like they were working, not just, like, wandering. What have we got here? Arendelle's journal. People in Dawnstar found my experiments need to say not pleased with what they saw. No matter, my work can only flourish without the distractions of living amongst the unenlightened. A cave off the north coast of Skyrim. I'm guessing this is a necromancer then. Yep. Learning more about reanimating and enslaving the dead. Gotcha. On a personal note, I will miss the young maidens of Dawnstar. Such beauty was intoxication. I often found my thoughts wandering around them, imagining secret encounters between myself and one or two of the local girls. Ah. And female ghosts. Right. You basically kidnapped and murdered some of the local girls in order to turn into ghost sex slaves. Blimey, we've really been stumbling across the weird dark quests over the last couple of parts, haven't we? Right, so watch out for branching paths, because we need to get ourselves the, yeah, good luck with ice spikes. Really good luck with that. And um, just batter, and go for a hit or two, and then wait. Nope, you're already down on the ground. Marvellous, down you go. And whatever you summoned, there's another ghost. Oh, sorry. Anyway, for Ben or that. Right, the ghosts are running in. The ghosts are actually surprisingly tanky for, like, you know, ghosts. Uh, ben was doing a good job holding off that one. I'm out of charge ready, but that's fine. I think I can do without charge on this occasion. Right. Time to go and find some more of those journals. I'm going to guess as you guys... I think you came from this direction, didn't you? Uh, let's just check everything. Ben or out of the way. I need to check all the burial learns. Might be hiding a journal down here. I feel like I've just stumbled across something kind of of interest. Uh, which is, say, a really, really bloody dark and sinister story. Right, now before we go down where I'm blatantly supposed to go, let's just creep up here. Because I'm suspicious of possibility of a journal in here. Nope, poor luck. Instead, just an emerald, which is still pretty darn useful. Right, down at the bottom, just getting deeper and deeper down here. And let's just have a look, see what we've got going on ahead. A few more, nothing major. And journal the second with woodcutter's axe and scroll of Ray zombie. Well, I'm sure the contents of this diary will be absolutely lovely. One of the first chamber, I exhumed a few test subjects, all female. I was stunned to find my mind wandering again to the women of Dawnstar as I examined my find. At first, I was slightly disturbed by my thoughts, but later I found myself re-value. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. The first trials went splendidly. Each subject was reanimated in a state of total complacency. 
bending to my every task and whim. I don't know if I really necessarily want to read the rest of these. Oh, blimey. This is... Yep, this is creepy. This is bloody creepy. We need to find this guy and merge him a bit. Up, straight on around the corner to number three. And I'm going to guess number four is on his body. And here we go. Unfortunately, I recognise the trespasser as a milkmaid from Dawnstar. She remembered me as well and made bold claims that I'd been lurking near her at all hours. What lies? True, I'd taken notice of her on occasion, but she was nowhere near the most noticeable of maidens in the town. Her continued accusations, coupled with my fear of more uninvited guests, led me to conclude that she could never return to Dawnstar. My servants were quick to carry out my sentencing. Her body is here next to me as I write this. Funny, her eyes are still so full of life. Perhaps I will try a new experiment tonight. And that's where the ghosts are coming from. Find the ghosts and more recent people. Got it. So, we need to kill this guy. We just do. Oh, the throne room. Right. Let's get ready for this then, because I feel like we're going to need some help from Moira for that. Alright. Move in. Nice and slow. I would like to, like, you know, not be seen first. And... There he is. Got it. So, how many people do we have in this room? In fact, actually, can I check this? Yep. Already got Oral Whisper set. Yes. Yeah. Bit quiet casting. Actually, not much at all. Just him. And he's going to be a magic user. Fine. This is eminently doable. Uh, so just forward cast. And now start moving around. And also, weirdly, despite the fact that he's blatantly like, you know, the final boss or whatever. There's someone at the back there. Beyond the final boss room. That's weird. Uh, so, there is her. Right, let's just actually take him down as a priority. Because if he goes down, does that defeat the ghost? Nope, the ghost does not go down, sadly. Uh, as nice as that would be. Okay. So, you, my good man, Arundel, got your key. Yep, some necromancy and whatever. And what do we have at the back? Because I saw something at the back here. Open the door. Oh dear. Right, so that'll be the milkmaid. Sorry. Oh. Maybe I should have let her speak. Was she actually, like, going to attack me? I don't know. Also, there's another one of the bloody things. And there's the fourth of the journals as well. Where does this go now? I've ordered my older servants to go out and find any more subjects that may have become lost. With the discovery of the inner sanctum deeper still within. Ooh. Okay. An inner sanctum. Is that the room we're in right now? Or does that mean there's even more? Right. Intriguing. Let's see if that actually... Does that begin anything new? I don't know. I mean, technically there is a, a staff of charming... And a chest right here that would indicate this was the end. I don't see anything else here. Fine. Well, let's just move on. Because there's something that's going down rather than up. Are we going down to an inner sanctum? Or is this going to be a, a nice Skyrim door out of here? Well, one lever will open up these doors. This brings me to... Ah. Right. More captured women. He was planning to turn into weird zombie sex ghosts. There's an expression I never thought I'd have to use. But here we flipping are. And with his key, we can now basically leave fine. So that was the inner sanctum, the throne room. Alright. Well. You know what? I like these kind of dungeons in Skyrim where it's just like, you know, a random thing in the middle of nowhere. But it's just got its own little, its own little story. It's just nice to just run across these little stories. They don't really go anywhere or any deep or anything. It's just a creepy but quite well-written story that just is all by itself. So there we are. Maybe at this point we just go, by the way. Maybe we just leave at this point now. After all, I need to go back to Yoravasta and figure out whether I'm going to be getting any super awesome elite guildmaster loot. Because I feel like I deserve some of that. And here we are in Yoravasta. And honestly, no one seems to be here. Honestly, companions less popular under my leadership. Probably a bad starting sign there. Are they all outside or something? 
Uh, one guy. Oh, no, no, two. Two, wait, which one are you? Oh, yeah, you guys are the... You're both, like, the other, like, starting lads. Um, so two of the students decided to stay. No one's in the main feasting hall. The Underforge is literally locked away from me. I actually can't get in there. Right, so basically everyone just immediately quit the companions in protest at my leadership. Marvellous. Right, well, bare minimum, is there at least something, like, good inside this bedroom I can help myself to now? Nothing but basic fine clothes in the wardrobe, basic boots, some, you know, sliced cheese and stuff. Um, I mean, like, this is all just a bit odd. Like, normally when you finish a quest and you become the guild master, like, a whole bunch of really cool, unique stuff gets handed over to you. Even if you've already found, like, you know, similar or better things. Uh, anything up here in the chest? Hmm. No. Nothing by the looks of it. Oh, well, never mind. I guess technically I got, like, Eskrimor's axe and shield. That's probably pretty good. Okay, one change I think is new. I can go up to literally any of the companion students and say, follow me, I need your help. And I swear I didn't used to be able to do that to all of them. Just, like, a couple of them. So I think that's new. Now I can just recruit any of those... Okay, and I thought my illusion magic was powerful. Maybe the rest of the companions will show up later. After all, they are technically, you know, having to walk back from uh, where we actually were at East Grimmel's Tomb Pact here. So maybe they're just making their way back. But Yorland Greymane is also not here. Yep, basically everyone just immediately decided to retire and protest. Marvellous. Well, that leaves me with one thing I do need to do at this point. Because now, I'm not a werewolf anymore. Oh, there you bloody are. Got anything to say to me in, like, congratulations or whatever? You know, since Kodlak's funeral, the Skyforge feels more... awake. It's always been said that the souls of the heroes of old are what gives Skyforge steel its strength. But I think the Forge knows the greatness of Kodlak's soul. I can't really explain, but it feels like it's young. I'll wager it could now forge metal the likes of which hasn't been seen since eras long forgotten. I'm eager to try. Okay, that's intriguing. Right, I tried going through the rest of his uh, speech options. They didn't lead anywhere. At this point, does the forge actually do anything special if I wanted it to? It's... Wait a flipping minute. This is new, isn't it? This is... Okay, hang on, is anything else new here? I swear that wasn't there a minute ago. Nord hero stuff. So requires an ancient Nord war axe and also a couple of steel ingots and some leather strips. So basically we're taking ancient stuff and we're improving it. Okay, well, base 23 for a battle axe is actually... Not bad at all, like, um, Wertherad was only like, what was that, 26 or 27 or something, so, okay, it's not as good, but that's still, that's pretty high actually, yeah. Not sure if he actually had this in his inventory before, but yeah, now he's selling a whole bunch of Skyforge steel stuff, so yeah, that's also base 23, so the same as his improved, uh, undead weaponry. Okay, that's all kind of interesting enough. For me, it's not good enough to make me switch over, but it's still kind of fun it's there, I guess. Right, back to what I was just saying a second ago. There is one thing I do need to do. Now that I'm done being a werewolf, I need to be done being a vampire as well. And there's one last final bloody thing I need to do for that. Right, back to Hogwarts. I need Serana to turn me into a vampire for, I believe, the third time at this point. Serana, I need to be a vampire again. Are you sure that's something you want? This isn't like picking out a new outfit. Actually, it kind of is. As we've already well established, I do just occasionally make myself a vampire just for a couple of days if it's convenient. All right, then. Hold still. And there we go. Vampiring again. Lovely. Now I'm a vampire. Vampire Lord Addis. And also there's the, yeah, presumably upgraded bloodstone thingy. So now I've got blood of the ancients. So now my Vampiric Drain spell absorbs Magicka and Stamina from your victims, as well as health for three days. Okay, that's actually pretty damn cool. Yeah, being a Vampire Lord is so much cooler than being a Werewolf. Being a Werewolf does seem to kind of suck. Whereas, yeah, just the, the basic actual Vampiric Drain spell for the Vampire Lord seems really bloody powerful. Whereas the basic slash attack the Werewolves get seems 
absolutely awful. So, yeah, I'm not sure why you'd ever want to be a werewolf over a vampire. Not that I want to be a vampire for long, to be honest. I've literally got, I think, one thing to do here, which is the ring quest. I've got to turn that in. So, good news, Ferran. I've got the rings of blood magic. Well done. I trust you'll put those to good use, then. And that's actually literally all you wanted. You just handed over some potions of blood. But I wanted to turn in the quest, damn it. And I think, actually, that might be your lot. Speak with Fura Bloodmouth. Oh, not Fura Bloodmouth. Everyone hates Fura Bloodmouth. I think I've done all the major quests at this point. I think right now I'm going to get nothing but, like, radiant stuff. So let's just double check that. A bunch of feral vampires are running wild, upsetting the mortals. When the prey is riled, it makes things difficult for us. Go cull the brutish beasts before the problem gets out of hand. Yeah, at this point, I think I've done everything I need to do with the vampires. I've turned in and actually officially got the rings and the amulets. I have killed the leaders of the Dawn Guards. So hopefully they're going to stop coming for me at this point. And yeah, at this point, she's just going to give me little kind of repeating quests. So... Having only just become a vampire, time to get rid of it again immediately. Right, back to good old Morphon. Oh, Benor, you're home! This is where you came from before your many exciting sexy... Uh-oh, that guy just got out his bow. Why do I... Yeah! Figured as bloody much. Morphon does seem to have a really high chance of spawning a bloody dragon. Right. I'll deal with that in just a second. I need to sort out my vampirism first. Okay, uh, Falion, don't judge me on this. I got myself vampired, like, again, two times, actually. Uh, but the middle time, I just dealt with it myself by turning myself into a werewolf. But I've already sorted that out by tossing a witch's head into a fire. But now I need your help again for the third instance of vampirism. I know many things. Yes, I know you do. In fact, we've literally done this conversation before. So let's skip to the part where you cure me at midnight in the stone circle. Very well. Meet me at the summoning circle in the marsh at dawn. Oh, sorry, dawn, not midnight, my mistake. Right, I'll meet him there at dawn, um, and we will actually fill up the time in the meantime by, like, you know, murdering that dragon or whatever, because he's probably still outside. Or not. Did he just naff off? He might have just naffed off. Good! Better and flipping better. Now, I can't remember exactly what time dawn is in this game, but I'm going to wait till 20 past 5. That's... Probably bloody close enough, if I had to guess, hopefully. There we go, marvellous. Right, have a quick chat to you. And cure, please. As the sun ends the night, end the darkness of this soul. Return life to the creature you see before you. The ritual is complete. And there we flipping go. Rising at dawn, done. I'm back to life, and no, don't wait, and that should mean I've got my slightly defective eye back. Marvellous. So, that's me back to life. I've been a werewolf, I've sorted that out, and no longer that. I've been a vampire three times, done all of their business, and now, now we can get on with the main quest, and I mean it, because literally I am like the guild master or equivalent for all four of the proper guilds. I cannot be distracted by the guilds anymore. There's no more bloody guilds to be distracted by. I run absolutely all of them. Okay. <laughs> ah, marvellous. Yes, we will actually do some main story progress next time. In fact, actually, I suspect we'll actually start getting through it very, very quickly indeed. Because uh, some of the main story stuff I've kind of accidentally stumbled across a little bit already. So I suspect actually we'll be able to make faster progress than you're expecting. We shall see. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Skyrim. Thank you very much. And goodbye. We've all learnt a valuable lesson here. When people have the zombie plague, don't allow them into confined spaces with you. We should just actually, like, use cannons. Do we have cannons? Use the cannons. Oh, they've got a big hammer. That's what the noise is. And a pirate's just rammed them. Okay, I think we're, we're in a traffic jam on the sea.